What is up you guys? It is your boy John here from Pumo Plow. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19 video here of course on the PC Lakeland unveiled by Stevie. How you guys doing and welcome in Welcome in guys. All right. I listen to your suggestions The cotton harvest not all of it, but Actually, I wanted to record more than I did, but anyway, it got dark and it's a whole thing cotton harvest was recorded for uh, podcast so we will get to that when we get to that right so there's that uh, right now in this video guys we are going to be picking up cotton bales and making all the money at least that's the hope I don't know what the cotton price is but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and move them so there's that all right so we should probably at least you know Go to the highest, uh, the highest price place. Oh, cotton's actually going up right now, which is good. So maybe we'll uh, fast time just a couple minutes once we grab our first bales. Uh, so comments from last video. Hey, thank you guys for, you know, saying, Hey, yeah, go ahead and record it for the podcast. Appreciate that. Uh, last corn harvest. What I meant by last corn harvest was last corn harvest video for that particular harvest. Meaning I wasn't going to put you guys through another video of just Harvesting the same crop, you know what I'm saying? Like let's move on to something else And that's kind of where what I was thinking. I guess I did a really bad job of Kind of telling you guys that if that makes sense So like it made sense in my head, but actually thinking about it back now What I said didn't make any sense. Obviously I will need to car harvest <laughs> Words are hard. Obviously, in the future, I will need to harvest corn because obviously, if we're going to have pigs, we will need a lot of corn. So, I, I, yeah, I know that, but I just did a, a, ba a bad job. A bad job of articulating that, I guess, which, hey, you know, words are hard. So, it's amazing that you guys can follow along with anything I say, to be honest. Um, just saying. But yeah, that was the corn harvest. Uh, thing from the last video, so Yeah, yeah, but hey, we're back. We're doing it Uh, this video comes out friday. So hey tonight and tomorrow night Friday night and saturday night both I will be uh streaming farm sim both nights. So Make sure you guys tune in for that one and I think tomorrow meaning meaning friday uh, I'm going to try to record. I, I know we've been talking about another let's play for a while. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to record that on Friday and have that out for Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday. That's what I'm thinking. The transport fever to you. I think I'm, I'm thinking Saturdays. So yeah, there's that. And then guys, to be honest, we're going to be jumping into flight sim. Um, I'm going to be streaming that like right away. I don't know if that would make a good let's play video or not, but I'm definitely going to be streaming some flights. Up. So probably Tuesday day stream will be my first uh, flight sim. Uh, to be completely honest, probably Tuesday day stream will be the first flight sim that we do. Uh, so yeah. Oh, another real thing real fast. We need to return those uh, harvesters because I don't. I don't need them. We we got a couple. I was looking. Where's the hour meter on these things? Why don't I see that? Oh, 2.6 hours. 2.6 hours roughly to do that harvest. Not bad, honestly. Not bad. Uh, during the harvest, I actually went in my house and watched Big Brother. Is what I did. So, all right. Let's pass time. Uh, by the way, who's into Big Brother? Big Brother, the US version. Uh, Big, Big Brother 22 or 20 or whatever it is. The All-Star that's on right now i am i'm into it man i am hook line and uh hook line and sinker i'm i'm into it um and actually i didn't think my dad was gonna be but he's been watching it too with me and uh so it's fun it's fun man those shows that like dad and i both watch together those are great so right now we're watching uh we watch a little bit of well, america's got talents kind of fun to watch you know it's better in the early rounds when they have like the bad axe and simon's there and like you can yell at them uh, since Simon hurt his back the other day, he had to have back surgery. He fell off a an electric bike and like broke his back and had to have surgery and all this stuff. So obviously he's off the show for the season. 
most likely. And uh, so we're just watching our cotton numbers here, by the way. So that's America's Got Talent. We watched that one. Uh, he, American Ninja Warrior is a thing, too. We, we try to watch a little bit of that. He watches it more than I do. Uh, he really got into the Titan games, the one with the rock. He was all about that. I, I didn't really uh, I didn't really watch that one too much. Uh, what else do we watch? Big Brother. Tough as Nails. That's a great, that's a really underrated show as far as I'm concerned. That's a great show. Uh, Phil Kogan from uh, Amazing Race is the host of that. And uh, it's, it's a good show. I've talked about it before. And then a big more Big Brother. So, been enjoying the Big Brother. Holy cow, how high is this cotton going to go? I didn't really want to fast them another day, but... If the cotton prices are going up, then I'm cool with it. Plus, I mean, this is an easy sell point. It's right here in our homestead. Like, it's super close, you know? I'm just saying. Super, super close. So, yeah. Come on, 18,000. Let's go. Let's get to, like, 40 that way. No, it won't get that high. <laughs> I don't know how high it's going to get. Yeah, well, let me, let me know what you guys think about Flight Sim for like a Let's Play. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't I don't know if that's going to translate. I'm I'm really I really like the idea of the multiplayer of uh of it. And you know, we're going to be streaming it. So you know, maybe we'll do like an edited version of like our first stream for for this channel, for the main channel instead of the secondary channel. I don't know. We'll see, but it's going to be a ton of fun. Flight Sim is going to be... Flight Sim is going to be great. I really feel like it's going to be a good time. I, I can't wait. So I know there's several of us that uh, are in the community here that uh, that have picked it up. So I know uh, Matt's super excited about it. Oh, another comment from the last video, by the way. We'll probably talk more about Flight Sim in, in the future. But uh, another comment from the last video. Random question was, what happened to Storms? Uh, Storms drops in my Twitch chat occasionally. He, uh, last I know, he just got really busy. He, uh, got a full-time job and just, just a busy beaver. Uh, there's no, you know, bad blood between Storms and I, as far as I'm concerned, he, you know, he's still, still one of the, uh, the one of the homies, you know what I'm saying? He's a good guy and, uh, I miss him. I miss him in the community. I really do. He was funny, man. Storms is so funny. And uh, yeah, he he may, he pops into stream chat every once in a while, and uh, of course he's more than welcome when he is um, when he is around. And uh, yeah, he's just he's 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 a good guy. He's he's colorful, man. He's a good guy, you know. Storms is awesome. One hundred ninety-two thousand dollars for two bales. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, and actually, so yeah, so that's what happened to Storm. So nothing really happened to Storm. She just got busy. Life, job, you know, people change and communities they hang out with kind of come and go and and stuff. I'm just happy that he uh, he checks in occasionally and says, hey, and about all I can ask for, right? You know, people come and go. It happens. So, but yeah, that's what happened to Mr. Storms. Nothing, nothing really happened. No, no issues there, you know? Definitely have issues with people, you know, or have had issues with people uh, in the community. And, you know, when it comes to the the online, you know, community, think of your, your online friends that you might have. And if you've, you know, been on the internet for a while and you've, pro you know, let's say you've made some online friends. Online friends come and go. You know, I used to have, um, hang on, my keyboard is moving. Why is my keyboard moving? I don't like that. There we go. Okay. Oh, I turned off my tractor, my truck. Uh, back in the day of Halo 2, I had a really tight knit community on the Halo 2. And once everybody quit playing Halo 2, I lost that entire community. And this was like way before Puma Flower or anything, of course. And uh, we were just, we had a really good crew. I mean, I knew people from Canada and all over the United States and. I don't think if I knew any overseas people. I didn't really know any overseas people back then. Definitely some Canadians. <laughs> that one dude, man, he was funny. I'm not going to tell you what he, he nicknamed me something, and I'm not going to tell you that, but because I don't want to be made fun of because it's, it's not like a super nice nickname, you know? 
but yeah, it's all good. And uh, yeah, so no, I mean, online friends come and go. It happens just like real life friends, you know, friends that aren't on the internet, they come and go. I grew up with some people that I will never talk to again, not because anything happened. It's just people move away. You know, back when I was younger, you know, we, we had phones, but we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have really didn't have the internet when I was growing up too much anyway. And if we did, it's like, okay, you could send an email to your friend, but that was, I never did that, you know? So like my, my homeboy that lived next to me growing up, man, he was him and I, we were, we were homies and he moved away. And I think we saw each other like twice after that. And that was it, you know? So it, it happens. Online friends come and go. And sometimes it's because of bad reasons. And sometimes it's, it's because of no reason. And sometimes it's one person's fault or the other person's fault. And sometimes it just it happens, you know, it happens. So yeah. There's that, right? Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, man. Oh, so in in doing the rest of the corn harvest and getting everything ready to go. Okay, so that corn planter I bought, by the way. Which actually, I think next harvest is going to be uh, sunflowers. Uh, somebody said that on stream the other day. I think it was Dirk, maybe. Leave a comment. Was it you? Hi. Hello. You, the, the one that said sunflowers, um, on my stream the other day. Anyway, so I bought that, that planter, right? Well, that planter is fantastic. A, you don't need the box on the front of the tractor. B, you, uh, it doesn't fertilize, which is fine. It's just an extra pass over the field with the sprayer, which is not a big deal. But that planter is awesome. That planter is I'm going to say it's underrated because I've never, I've not seen anybody talk about it really. And we don't, we don't use that DLC in multiplayer at all. So that's probably why I've never used it. And I'm talking about, talking about this guy right here. This thing is absolutely underrated. Now it's a little weird being like 12 meters to go down the road. So obviously it has the end hitch. You just like unfold and hook up. Not a big deal. And in fact, I'd probably like to purchase a second one of these and get rid of the, uh, the Vodderstad and actually for the money we'll get for the Vodderstad, I bet we can just make it happen without, um, without losing any money. 73,000, 73,000, 79,000. So we're going to lose a little bit of money, but that's not bad. I, I would like to do that. And the other thing is, since I was having to do that and lime, which by the way, we've got two, two, two fields that need lime again. So since I'm having to go over a field, basically three times with a sprayer and once with the limer, I actually need another tractor. I need, oh, there's a chicken feeder there. I need another mid range mid-size tractor because honestly pulling a uh a fertilizer spreader or a lime spreader in this case with an 8r is just not that's a waste of a tractor you know and the other day i pulled that with my quad track which there again waste of a tractor <laughs> so i think i want to pick up another mid-size maybe narrow wheeled tractor I, i'm not sold on the narrow wheels I, I don't have to have that it is nice to have since we do have crop destruction turned on uh so it is nice to have that to put on a sprayer or whatever oopsie and i may pick up another sprayer eventually too i don't know about that one though because we're, we're not hitting out of the park obviously i should probably just go with the rubicon self-propelled sprayer and just get her done but there's just something about having the toe behind sprayers i just really like you know I just, I do. I really like the tow behind sprayers. Uh, I was thinking about maybe even stepping up instead of a, well, that would be kind of a waste of a tractor too. I was thinking like an 8R, 8R uh, T, but that's a waste of a tractor as well. If you really stop and think about it. So probably something in the small end of the large tractors to the 
upper end of the medium sized tractors 150 ish to 200 horsepower somewhere in there so maybe let me know let me know in the comments that'll be the question for you guys i'll buy it in monday's video let me know uh somewhere between let me let me like go in and look at the shop real fast not gonna spend an hour looking at the shop like i've done in the past but you know, honestly, let's see, this has 170 and then you can upgrade it, right? So you could go to 261. That's, that's a, you know, I don't necessarily want that tractor, but something in here, probably anything in the medium tractors, including like this Massey, this, this Massey could be an option. You know, you put some, put some different tires on there. Not those, obviously, uh, it's 160 horsepower, which that would be okay. That'll pretty much do anything I want. I mean, there is this as an option too. Um, and then even this little guy, this little guy is an option, 165 horsepower. Let's go, you know, like it's, it's an option, you know? So you guys will have to let me know. And this thing's got options, by the way, this thing's got options for days. So you guys have to let me know something in there are you know, we don't have a 7R. I've got a lot of John Deere stuff, so I'd kind of like to maybe not go John Deere. Uh, but maybe something up as big as, like, not the 8R. Smaller than the 8R. So, like, the Vultra, that's 350 horsepower. You know, that's a lot. I don't need that much. It's not for tillage. It's not for planting. Maybe for planting, but not for tillage. Fertilizer sprayer. You know, spraying fertilizer, spraying herbicide. Um... What's that other thing? The lime spreader, that kind of stuff, you know? That kind of stuff. Because I may pick up another one of each of those, too. I don't know yet. We will have to wait and see. I was kind of hoping to go look at the mods uh, for liquid sprayers. Just for fun, you know? I haven't looked at mods in forever on the mod hub, so... I was kind of like, hey, I should go look at those just to see what's out there, you know? That's really planting with the uh, quad track were great there. Cultivating with the uh, with the uh, Challenger were great there. We do have two eight R's, you know. Eight R's are good. Eight R's are pretty good uh, for running like the other planters. They're pretty good for that. They're actually oversized for those planters, to be honest. You don't need that much horsepower with these hills. I'm okay with running an eight R on that other seater. But yeah, just another tractor to have for potentially a third sprayer or uh, something like that, you know? So let me know in the comments uh, below what uh, what like mid range tractor I should go with. I'm just saying, let you guys run the show. You know, it's, it's what it's all about here, you know? Let's be honest. And actually I could see it now if we do flight sim, like, hey, where do you guys want to fly next time? You know, or like what, like, see, I, I like, I want to go in flight sim and and just go fly yes of course we'll do i'm assuming there's like missions or fly from you know point a to point b kind of thing but i would love to go in there and just like fly the grand canyon or fly the great wall of china or go see the bahamas like things i'm probably never gonna get to see in real life with my own two eyes those are things i would like to go do and and we're gonna be doing that on stream for sure but, you know, it'd be cool to make a separate video and be like, hey, what landmark do you guys want to see? All right, let's go. And make a video about that. That'd be kind of neat. Instead of actually like, okay, we got a taxi 3-1 left. We have the wind speed is 42. Because, like, everybody's going to be serious about it, you know, and doing that kind of stuff. And uh, I want to be a little different. Which, you know, there might be somebody that goes for a sightseeing trip. Which, you know, I'm, I'm, I know it's not an original idea, you know. I just think that could be really fun. I just can't wait for multiplayer, man. I just can't. I just can't wait for multiplayer. It's going to be so good. Comes out Tuesday on the 18th, guys. Oh, I can't wait. And I realized I kind of skipped a field over there. We'll get to that field uh, last. Our newest field, uh, field 20. We're hoping to buy 19, by the way. I'm hoping to buy 19, a cedar and a tractor with this money not necessarily in this video maybe 19 in this video but cedar and a tractor probably next video yeah plus we do have some crop to sell too we could sell corn even though we are going to need that for our pigs 
Uh, I think we have soybeans in the, in storage still. I'm not sure. Not sure what we have, but we do have some crop. But like I said, sunflowers are going in next. And I'll probably get a bunch of that done. Probably come back for a sunflower plant. Well, sunflower harvest video for Monday. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't want to spend all my money before buying my tractor, you know? Yeah, I'll probably come back. I'll get these fields turned, most likely. We'll see. We'll see. It's it's only midnight tonight, so we've got time, you know, boys. We got time. And uh, I worked on Minecraft a bunch this afternoon. Streamed Minecraft this afternoon, so I'm kind of crafted out for right now. So work on the old farm sim map for a while. I've actually been playing a fair bit, like off stream or off recording. Not that much, I guess, but you know, a little bit here and there, which is fun because I enjoy farm sim. I do, I do, I do. I need to play the multiplayer map a little bit more off of a uh, stream. Try to progress that. I actually have an idea for the next map for uh, MP. And I don't know if people are going to like it. It's going to be totally different. I, I don't know what map. Let me start by saying that. And when I'm ready to like ask for input, I will definitely bring it here as well. But it's, it's my idea is going to be interesting. Especially, this is a hint. It's especially for the way that we play farm sim. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be interesting, especially for the way we play farm sim. And that's, that's the hint. You guys, I guess, can guess it in the comments if you want. Of what I have up my sleeve. Like I said, I don't have a map in mind. Wouldn't mind finding a map soon, but that multiplayer's got a little life left in it yet. Uh, the problem with that map, and it's not necessarily a problem. That map's great, actually. The map's really good. The only issue with that map is it's just like we can go harvest the same field for an entire stream. So, there's that. <laughs> you know, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just... Uh, it's an intro. Oh, that's still the key. Oh, hit that one, John. Hit uh, G1 over there on my Logitech keyboard, you know. Love the G keys. Logitech G910. Love this keyboard. Uh, sent to me by, by a viewer, actually, Rogue Cobra. You guys know that name from uh, Twitch. He uh, sent me this keyboard year. God, I've had this thing for years now. Love this keyboard. Great keyboard. Absolutely fantastic keyboard. Just saying. But yeah, it's quiet. That's the thing I like about it. It is nice. I mean, I can make it loud if I smash it, but like nice and quiet, calm and cool and collected. Got good RGB on it, which I don't really, I mean, it's it's made to look like an American flag right now. So that's that's what I, I do with it. Might go back to the orange and red. Or not orange and red, green and red. You know, got to get ready for Christmas here, guys, real soon. Just saying. Actually, uh, I've already started the Christmas project. I know I talked about that deer a little bit. Got one deer done. Um, actually, what's... Ah, uh, I should have painted it today. Maybe I'll do that yet tonight. <laughs> I have, like, a really bright light behind my house I can turn on. Like, out back, you know? Who says I can't paint a deer at 1 o'clock in the morning, you know? What's it to you, huh? <laughs> I painted half of it. So basically what I do is I take a trash can out in my yard, like a my big trash can thing, and I lay the deer on top of there, and I paint half of it, and then I wait and flip it over and paint the other half. Well, I painted half of it, and then we had that, like, super severe thunderstorm the other day where we had, like, 60, 70-mile-an-hour winds and i just never got back to it so maybe after i'm done with this video while it's rendering i will go out there and paint the other half and then friday so when this video comes out i can put lights on it hopefully get it back to the farm sunday and uh bring home the next one and i'm trying to do one a week i have uh four more to do or five more to do something like that hopefully i have enough lights i uh i got all these lights last year um, I was having issues with deer last year, those of you that were around, and you know that. And uh, I went online and ordered like 30 strands of lights. I needed like 10, and I ordered 30. 
I wanted to make sure I had a bunch because I've been wanting to redo the deer anyway, you know, redo them all to LED. So, and I found some good lights. They were reasonably priced. Uh, I didn't spend over a hundred dollars, so maybe it was over. It was just over a hundred bucks. I think not a big deal, really not when you're talking LED lights and as many as I bought, that's, that wasn't bad, you know, don't get me wrong. A hundred bucks is a lot of money, but, uh, you know, it, it takes a few dollars to put on the show that I, that I put on, you know? So, yeah. But anyway, I think soon here. We're going to be, uh, we're going to start working on the, uh, the snowmen again. I, I need to kind of talk it over with that. I'm not sure if we're going to go for a complete rebuild or if we're going to just like modify the ones we have. I think we're going to go for a complete rebuild because there's a lot of things we want to do different. And one of them being like the actual lights themselves. Right now, they're just like mini uh, LEDs, white LEDs around like the actual bodies of the snowmen. And I think we want to change them to like all C7s and like weld on a socket, basically, or, you know, quote unquote, a socket uh, for each individual bulb. So basically like the faces on the snowmen, but like the whole body. And it's going to be a lot more work, a lot more welding, but... That's okay. Welding's fun. Plus, we're starting in August. <laughs> or we want to start in August <laughs> instead of, you know, October. Actually, no, we didn't even start in October last year. Because Pumpkin Day. We started after Pumpkin Day. So we really started in November. And they weren't out there when the rest of the lights were on already. We added them after the lights were done. So this year, the theory is to get them done so that I have time to do some programming because I'll have to program the controller thingy. And uh, I'd like to set them up and even run the program and kind of just look at it and maybe maybe show you guys. I should take a camera out in my backyard and stream that. <laughs> That'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it? That'd be kind of cool. Like literally do a live stream of a camera in my backyard pointed at the deer that are just are not the deer the snowmen just out there flashing away that'd be kind of neat or incorporate that into a stream somehow like show you guys the uh the programming software and and stuff and get some that'd be actually really cool that'd be a really cool thing to do if i could set that all up and it's dark enough outside maybe do that like the end of a stream you know for like an hour half hour or something because i'd want it to be dark dark out there That'd be really cool, man. I should I should totally try to set that up. Maybe like sometime in October, maybe early October. Sometime in there. But basically what I'm getting at is uh, we need to decide what we're doing. I need to talk to my dad about this big time because I don't really care what we do. I'm, I'm fine with them the way they are. But at the same time, if we redo them, it's going to take them from like an eight to a ten, you know? Like it's going to just take them over the, over the edge. They're going to be so cool and so much brighter. Cause the problem we're having, you know, they're wireframe. And when, when you have 15,000 lights in your yard, you need, you need stuff to be very bright to stand out. And so if we make them all the C7s, they will stand out for sure. Uh, C7 is just a bigger bulb, by the way. Yeah, but they'll stand out a lot more and you'll be able to see them with all the other lights that are around them. So. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do, but I'm not really 100% sure yet. So we'll have to see. Like, I might leave the arms mini lights. I just, I don't know what we're doing. But I got to see if I can order the stuff because, you know, all that Christmas light stuff, let's just be honest, all of that stuff comes from China. China. And like other Christmas lights, uh, you can't find them yet, which is not too uncommon but there are websites that have christmas lights all year round and uh where i've looked at least there's just there's just no lights so i will have to order like the actual socket and then the light bulbs themselves and uh yeah i need to make sure i'm gonna get that because if we can't get it there's no point in rebuilding the snowman you know i do want to add hats to the snowman too by the way so that occasionally when they're throwing their snowballs back and forth 
they knock off each other's hats and the hats go tumbling down to the ground. So we'll actually have to build like a total of, I'm thinking six hats, maybe, maybe eight, like four per each one. Not sure. Cause that's a lot of channels on the programmer then too. So we kind of have to weigh the pros and cons here of like, okay, how many channels do we actually want to eat up with these snowmen? So yeah, cause last year I had two extra channels that I used on my mailbox. I would like to do that again this year because it looks really cool. But two different kinds of lights on the mailbox post. Had them flashing back and forth, you know. I could talk for hours about Christmas lights. I'm sorry. I know it's August. Uh, Christmas lights are pretty much that thing that's like always on the brain for me. You know, it's a hobby. It's a year-round hobby. It really is, you know. And uh, it's just... It's such a cool thing, and I, I don't I know I don't share this part of it. I mean I've talked about it, but I can't like show you guys. But when you get these cars full, obviously there's adults in the front, but full of kids in the back, and it, they just roll down the windows, and you can just hear the kids, you know, screaming. Oh, they like the lights and different things. It's just warms the heart, you know. And and that's the reason I keep doing it is for the kids, you know. It's really cool. And that's the reason I want to get bigger and bigger and bigger every year. And especially this year with all the, all the bad that's going on in the world. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people this year driving around looking at Christmas lights. And if we can just bring a couple of minutes of joy to somebody's life, that's, that's just awesome. You know, that's why I do it. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it, didn't start like that, obviously. It was just, hey, we're doing Christmas lights because that's what you do at Christmas, you know? And and over the years, it's become so much more. So much more than that. And it's definitely something that I would like to continue for years. And, of course, make it bigger and better every year. You know, trying to convert. Right now, see, I'm, I could add a lot more lights if I went, you know, incandescent. I'm trying to get everything converted to LED which is not cheap. But that's why I've been trying to convert stuff to LED literally for like four or five years now. You know, I buy a lot of stuff on sale after the holiday, which I have been slacking on that the past couple of years, but I've been kind of busy taking care of stuff, you know? If you know, you know. In the past like three years. Not so much as last year, but before that. And, um... Yeah, so we just, uh... We try to buy as much off season after after Christmas as possible but basically for the past five or six years now if it's not LED I don't want it you know because power reasons powers a lot it takes a lot to power everything and the more we get converted to LED the, the better the easier it's gonna be you know so there is that someday the, the goal is to like where one plug in the garage can run it all you know and you get it all on LED, it will be it like that eventually. Maybe not quite that much, but, you know, be able to run a lot on one outlet, you know? And we do have one of those, like, kilowatt things you plug in, and you plug stuff into it, tell you how much you're drawing, so I'm not overloading anything. We're not, you know, we're not being like that other guy in town that was turning the outlets in his house black, okay? We're not doing that, you know? That's not, that's not us. <laughs> we use our five head when it comes to powering everything for the christmas lights you know all right one more field to go and we're just we're just gonna roll it guys we're just doing it live okay last time i did bail pickup i did it in an, a high speed but it really wasn't that high speed because about how long it's been taking me anyway you know so not a big deal should only be a few bales over here let's be honest not, i mean it's a good size field but so we'll pick up these and then we'll call it a day probably by our field well, we'll see what's up with our field because it looks like it has crop in it, which is fine. That's totally fine. But yeah, Christmas lights, man. Love them. If it's that small thing I can do, you know, it's like mowing the highway down at the farm. Does it really matter? Do we really have to? No. But it's just that one little thing that we can do to make the world just a slightly better place. And the amount of smiles we bring to our town during Christmas lights, it's worth it. 
you know, it takes me almost a month to put the things up, get them working, plug them all in. I spend two days and all I do is plug in extension cords. You know, that's, it's literally almost a two full day thing. That's all I do is plug in cords. And obviously, you know, right now in my head, I can see the layout and I can see the cords and like, I know that, okay, I can only have so many things on this cord, so many things on that cord. Of course with LED, you can almost do what you want. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You can almost do whatever you want. It's pretty awesome. But back in the day, like the time I was burning the house down with Christmas lights, you know, we don't need to talk about that. Okay? <laughs> We've all been there, right? We've all like melted a socket or two, right? That's why I've become a lot smarter. Cause like I did almost burn down my house like 15 years ago. I had a bunch of the like C9s, you know, like the big bulbs. I had a full string of those running across my gutter. Uh, but they weren't just C9s. It was C9s with icicle mini lights as well. And so it was like a double load and, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it got a little melty on, on, a, on a plugger. So yeah, it, I, I only ran those for like one year after that. The next year I like divided them up and ran, wired them way smarter and ran like multiple cords up to my, uh, to my gutters, you know. As before, I had them all plugged into one spot. And then I ran like multiples <laughs> after that. Because I'm like, yeah, let's not burn the house down, okay? And then I was like, yeah, that's a ton of power. I'm not using them anymore. So I went from those actually to some of the first LED lights that I ever, ever got was icicle, uh, multicolor icicle, multicolor LED icicle lights. They were some of the first LEDs I've, I ever had. And I still have... I think I had to replace one strand of those, maybe two by now. I think it was just one. I bet I've had those like eight years now. Something like that. I've had those for a long time and I have a couple of spares that are the same. Cause you know, Christmas lights year to year are kind of, kind of hard to match sometimes. And so, uh, I made sure one year I found a couple spares. They were the same thing, same box, same company, same, same, same. And I was like, and they were on clearance too. It was actually at Sears. They were on clearance at Sears of all places. And, uh, yeah, I bought those suckers up and they are sitting on a shelf in my garage somewhere. They're, I think I know where they're at. They're either on a shelf or they're in a bin. Either way, I know where they're at. They're in one of those two places. Anyway, cotton bales. Oh, hey, did you know we're playing farm sim? I'm not just doing a Christmas light podcast over here. Okay. I swear that. That'd be a great, great idea, right? All right. Let's return the trailer because we don't need it. Return you before you cost us any more money. Now, our field, field 19 that we want to buy is ready to harvest. And it's in barley, but it's not fertilized. Can we get a mission for that? 19 harvest barley. You might have to look into doing that. Probably it's going to pass though, because I'm going to work on the, uh, I'm going to work on the, what's it called? Uh, the fields. So I'm going to hold off on buying 19 actually for right now. That's yeah, 1. 1. 1.1.7 million dollars. So we're still going to have a healthy bu budget. We're going to have a healthy budget left. That's great. I'm actually really excited about that. So we're, we're going to have some money left over. That's, that's great. I uh, want to buy that tractor. I want to start getting into pigs as well. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Let me know what you guys think about the tractor. I'm going to get these fields all turned back over and uh, planted in sunflower. Oh, actually, real fast before we go. No, I don't need. Well, yeah, yeah I'm going to go ahead and buy the cedar. Because it does sunflower. So oh, wait, does our other cedar do sunflower? Our big one? Our big one that we have? Uh, I don't know. Where's that? We have this one. It does not do, does not do sunflower. So let's just go ahead and pick up another one of these. They're pretty cheap. You know, we'll have money, 79,000. And actually while we're in here, let's sell this one for 73. So we lost a little money, but that's not bad. You know, 
not bad anyway that's not all the money i'm gonna spend i'll spend money on the fields obviously so we're at 2.4 million right now obviously it's gonna be less than that putting the fields back in but anyway see you guys on monday or tomorrow tomorrow for that let's play the uh transport fever 2 we'll, we'll fire that up and see what you guys think of the game and i don't know how many of those we'll do but we'll fire it up and let you guys decide so thank you guys so much for watching have a great rest of your day and as always a toodles